Here, the amount political parties can spend on a general election campaign is capped at £18 million. That sum is dwarfed by America, where it's estimated nearly £8 billion will be spent in the run-up to November's presidential election. And with changes to the law now allowing some campaign groups to spend as much as they like, the Republican primaries are developing into a battle between opposing camps, television attack ads. Here's our Washington correspondent, Matt Fry. I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a Christian. We're going to a commercial break now. Time to suspend good taste. I know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military, but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. In an election year, America's airwaves are congested with a dizzying variety of political ads. This is the homophobic tirade. Faith made America strong. It can make her strong again. Sugar-coated, but hate-filled. And I approve this message. Then there's misty-eyed self-promotion with all the edge of a shampoo ad. Everything he does, he does well. And he does it with his heart and his commitment. If there's ever a time where this country needs someone like Mitt Romney, it's now. Soft filters, soft music, squishy message. Expensively produced, lovingly endorsed by the candidate. But more sleep-promoting than vote-inducing. And then there are these. Forget the production values. It's all about the jugular. He took away our livelihood. He took away our futures. Then you go back to greed. Mm -hmm. It all ends up back to greed. This one was aimed at Mitt Romney and his record as a filthy rich venture capitalist who laid off thousands to make millions. He is there for the almighty dollar. 25 million people don't have jobs and can't find jobs. But it gets worse. Listen to this. Massachusetts moderate Mitt Romney. He'll say anything to win. Anything. And just like John Kerry. Laissez les bon temps rouler. He speaks French, too. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Mitt Romney. But he's still a Massachusetts moderate. And Speaking Massachusetts French is considered unwholesome and thus un-American. Being fluent in Mandarin is downright sinister. <laughs> Before he ran for the Republican ticket, John Huntsman was Obama's ambassador to Beijing. Now he's the Manchurian candidate, according to this ad. <laughs> the worst ads are produced by so-called super PACs, or super political action committees, which can raise unlimited funds and dish unlimited dirt, as long as the candidate is not directly involved. Newt attacks because he has more baggage than the airlines. Newt Gingrich was surging in the polls. He looked like he could pull out a win in Iowa. All of a sudden, the Romney Super PAC drops millions of dollars to attack Newt Gingrich, and he doesn't even finish in the top three. So what does he do? He gets his own Super PAC to attack Mitt Romney. Right, and uh, Newt's friend, this casino owner, Shell Adelson, wrote a $5 million check to the, to the Gingrich Super PAC so he could run ads in South Carolina. So this is a billionaire's food fight. Absolutely. This is a food fight between billionaires. This is a handful of wealthy people deciding who can run for office. I'm not suggesting that the White House can be bought, but if you can't raise lorry loads of money, there's no point in even trying to get in there. Just look at the numbers. This time round, they are truly eye-watering. It is officially estimated that the 2012 election cycle will cost roughly about 11 billion US dollars, about seven and a half billion pounds, according to the latest exchange rate. And more than a billion pounds of that money will be spent by the candidates trying to get in or stay in the building behind me. Such is the importance of super PACs, the ads they finance and the sham separation from the candidate that they've inevitably become fodder for two late night comedians, one running for president, the other plotting a super PAC in his support. Can I legally hire Stephen's current super PAC staff to produce these ads that will be in no way coordinated with Stephen? Yes. <laughs> as long as they have no knowledge of Stephen's plans. Well, that's easy. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> this year okay, in American John, election Stephen politics, Steve money doesn't just talk, it shouts. No, from now on, from now on, John, from now on, I will just have to talk... Matt Fry, Channel 4 News, Washington.